Let's factor this amount, x squared plus 8x plus 15. We will get out our amount. First of all, we will get out x squared. And then we will get out what? Our units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We will place how many x's on the side? Always one. One and how much more makes eight? We will place our eight bars of x's right here below our one bar of x and we can see that it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. One and seven make eight. At this point, we will no longer place our units in the corner without determining whether or not they will fit. Here we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fifteen will not fit in the corner, so we just as well not try. Only seven will fit in the corner. Since it doesn't work with one X on the side, we will try how many X's on the side? That's right. We will try two X's on the side. Two X's and how many more X's make eight X's? Two and how much more makes eight? Two and this much more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two and six makes eight. We place our sixth at the top. Now notice, we are not going to place our x's in the corner until we determine whether or not they will fit. At this point, we have been practicing our skip counting and we will skip count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Fifteen will not fit in the corner. If it doesn't work with two X's on the side, how many X's will we try on the side? That's right. We will try three X's on the side. Three and how much more makes eight? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Three and one, two, three, four, five more makes eight. So we will place how many above? Five. Three and five makes eight. Here again, we will skip count before we place the units in the corner. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Yes, it works with three on the side. We can now place our units in the corner. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. And notice, at this point, it would no longer be necessary to place the 15 individual units in the corner because we could now see that 3 by 5 equals 15 and we could get our rectangle that is named three by five and place it in the corner. This is a very important step. Once we have discovered that we can use our whole rectangle, we will no longer use the individual units.